it's Cece right here. We're gonna do another empath talk, so I hope you're ready. I'm going to just do a little bit of mixture of ASMR mixed in with this chat. And last time we talked about sage, we talked about selenite wands and selenite and different crystals that can help you. So if you missed that video, there, it's in the backlog. <laughs> you can check it out. There's, you know, amethyst and clear quartz rose quartz there's a lot of different things you can help like balance and ground yourself as an empath so i want to talk a little bit more about being empathic and how to handle it and deal with it and how to actually make it into something beneficial for your life instead of you know difficult because sometimes empaths have a really hard time dealing with this gift because it's so intense it's such a strong emotional gift you know and at times we are taught in our society that emotions are bad or wrong or you know that's just you know why are you getting so crazy and emotional and it, and it can really damage them past so they end up feeling weird or unheard or anxiety ridden or depressed so i think that's part of my heart is to really help empaths like understand themselves and shine and come forth and express their gift instead of hiding their gift or being like oh i'm a weirdo because I'm so sensitive i like walk into a room and i can just i just feel so overwhelmed by everyone and i think like when you understand yourself it's so much easier to be joyful like i feel so much more happier in my life because I understand myself and it took years I and mean, it did take a while to understand things but I did it by trial and error so we're just I'm just gonna add some random triggers in here guys as I talk so a lot of times well every time <laughs> honestly I'm bad read energy so if someone have you ever if you're empathic and you're relating to what i'm saying you know like if there's someone in the room you cannot get a feel for you can't understand it's like you're putting your energy out there and you don't even realize you're doing this half the time as an empath it's just like natural but you're like trying to get a feel for someone and there's like a blank wall or it's really hard and it gets frustrating as an empath you're like Ooh, I don't like them or they're cold or you know like you just naturally feel they're challenging to be around because they're not letting you check them out more or less you know like how a dog will like sniff your legs and sniff your hand and it's like checking you out making sure you're okay and then it will be more friendly some dogs some don't do that but that's kind of how I feel empaths are more like checking you out first they read the room they read you they make sure you're safe they don't want to uh, like engage with you unless they feel safe so empaths also love depth they love deep conversations they're all about give me the juicy stuff you know like something they can connect to emotionally because they do run on emotions and they they feel deeper so they want to connect to you in a deeper meaningful way one thing i've learned as an empath is that i need to lighten up and that's why i love personalities that are like my boyfriend who's very playful happy-go-lucky they're not they're not so into deep subjects they're more about like playing and just enjoying the present moment they don't always think super deep like a theological or spirit deeply spiritual concepts or whatever but empaths tend to be more spiritual they tend to be very aware of their mind and their emotions and they're just so like let me understand the meaning of life they want to understand other people's passions generally too and what they believe and what they feel what do you feel <laughs> you know that's just kind of part of empaths personality but also empaths have to understand that not everyone is like that and just because they're not like that doesn't mean they're not like loving or kind or deep at times you know they just choose to express themselves in a different way so but they can be helpful to an empath because it'll help them lighten up stay grounded you know have fun enjoy this earthly experience because empaths can feel so overwhelmed by the earth's energy at times that it feels like why am i here and, and I don't know if you guys can relate to that, but I've, 
I remember feeling like that sometimes, like, why am I here? The earth is such a mess. It's such a crazy mess here, you know? And to me, that's the reason why empaths are here. They're here to help. They're here to heal. So if you're an empath, you're here for a reason. You're here to help engage and heal and restore balance to the earth and bring grounding and really help heal people's emotions. Sometimes people don't even understand their own emotions, but an empath might pick up stuff that they aren't feeling or they're not understanding because there's these layers, like emotional layers people put out, just like a field around them. You know, you, people talk about auras and things like that. So to me, there's like an emotional like layers that people put out <laughs> and empaths like will pinpoint things. And again, like it's like learning this stuff and learning what it is and, and how to handle it that help quite a bit. Another thing, empaths have to learn to release their emotional energy in a healthy way because it can end up being like this, like a bomb if they don't find a way to channel it, funnel it out, to let it go. And this can come through teaching or meditation or nature. Um, it can come through just expression and like in creative ways like writing, painting, drawing, dancing, uh, talking it out with a friend. There's a lot of ways to express your emotions as an empath without it being destructive because it's when it bottles, you know, bottles up, boom, it blows up and then you hurt yourself, you hurt others, you damage relationships and that's just, that's the hard part about being empath is you have to understand that about yourself like what can i do to channel to funnel this out so that it's healthy and it's helping me and other people as well like for me i'm a writer so i write my emotions in fact if i'm real confused about what i'm feeling i will take my journal and i will write it out and if i write it out it's like it clicks it clears up things in my mind but that's my personality you know because i'm more wordsy so you may do it through painting doodling drawing uh, singing. There's so many ways that empaths can express. It could be something else. It could be digging in the dirt, you know, like creating a garden that's a way for you to like funnel your emotions into something positive or a cause like animals or a church function like an event, helping people in different ways. Empaths, like, it's a very common trait that empaths cry a lot and they cry at things. They cry when they're happy. They cry when they're sad because it's just like a form of releasing emotion and like animal videos or babies or just something really heartfelt. It's like, oh man, you know, so that's, that's pretty common when you're empath to uh, cry a lot <laughs> and that's okay. And that's totally okay. Like give your permission, give yourself permission to express however you need to. I used to like kind of beat myself up when I'd get really sad, but now I'm like, you know what, if I need to cry, I need to cry, it's fine, because that's a form of expression and I don't need to repress it, that's just gonna, if I repress it, it's gonna go into a negative thing and I don't want that, so I let it express in the way it wants to. So every single human has empathy and it's a part of our brain, like so if I like smacked my foot or you know, hit my thumb with a hammer, you would immediately go like, oh, ow, you know, like you would feel it in a sense. In empaths, what empaths do is they just feel it deeper. They feel it more intensely. So when someone's hurting or in pain or they see a sad thing or sad story or what either one, like it could be not just sad, but different things like something that made them angry or happy or whatever, they feel it much deeper. And if people don't feel empathy, that's what's the breeding ground for narcissism because narcissists are not, they just don't have empathy whatsoever. They don't relate to other people. They don't put themselves in other people's shoes and that's actually a disorder. I remember looking that up, like it's an actual mental disorder to be a narcissist. So em empathy is normal for people, like it should be normal. And it should be taught too. When the kids are little, they need to be taught empathy. Some of them are very natural, especially if they're empathic, they're very natural in empathy, while others need to be kind of encouraged to be empathetic toward their brothers and sisters, toward people in school, and to understand, you know, from different points of view. 
I was just kind of a natural empathetic child, but that's because that was, you know, my gifting. So I think that's where people who are empath empathetic or empathy, you know, or have a lot of empathy, they have to be taught that. And an empathetic person can help give people another point of view and say, hey, listen, like this is like the way, you know, they could be feeling, maybe they're doing this because of this. And they kind of like can give wisdom to people who are struggling or angry or, you know, they just can give them a new point of view. So that's a, just a few like random things about empaths. And uh, I will get into some more. And I know I'm just mostly talking about what they're like, not so much like how to handle empathy or emp being an empath. But we'll definitely get into more of that in some future videos. So I look forward to seeing you guys and have a great day. Don't forget to like and subscribe and comment if you like this video. If you're an empath, let me know. I would love to know. And just anything you want to say that maybe you relate to with this video.